All right, all right, check it out. So I just left Modern Times downtown Los Angeles location. I'm about to get ready and take this quick little mile walk over to McKellar, Los Angeles. Now, if you follow the YouTube channel and you keep up with my posts and my videos, you would know over the course of the last, I wanna say maybe, how can we put it, like maybe like two videos, maybe the third video, maybe the fourth video I posted was um, from, from uh, brews that were brewed by McKellar. Maybe it was only one because I have like three videos that I need to create. So with that being said, I'm about to walk directly over to the source. Man, lighting is not great today. I'm about to walk directly over to the source and uh, see what they got shaking because like I said, I did not know. I honestly didn't know that they had a location here. This is what I have to get used to with this lens here. So I did not know they had a location and I'm about to go check them out. I think I'm about two blocks away, three blocks away or something like that. So we gonna cross the street, see what's going on, jump over to McKellar. My homeboy E hit me up and he's like, yo, they have anything to go? They have any cans available? So I'm gonna see what I can do for him. But with that said, or with that being said, it's Charlie, if you heard it here first in my beer for tonight, and we're beer vlogging here in downtown Los Angeles, baby. Oh yeah. All right, so check this shit out here. I'm over here at McKellar, downtown Los Angeles, here in this awesome tap room. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome tap room. I like what they have going on. The number one thing I like is it's like a seat yourself type of deal. So that means if you come at any time, you can seat yourself wherever you want to sit, obviously. But I guess what I mean by that is it's like situated to where if you want to come take up, occupy some space, you can occupy some space. You don't have to wait, make reservations and all that type of stuff. That's the vibe I'm getting here. I'm actually right here at like a bar top little spot with the perfect lighting if you want to do some film and some vlog right here off of I guess you can say this is Olympic Boulevard and Olive Street that this location is situated on and I'm right on Olympic Boulevard looking outside you know what I'm saying so the lighting is great it is pretty loud in here their tap list is pretty cool you know what I'm saying so I'm sure it's probably something they print every day but boom got like your beers on tap side and then you got your brunch menu boom that's cool. I decided to go with the uh, New England style pale ale, clocking in at about five and a half percent. It's called the Staff Magician. That's what it looks like. Now this is different. Their glassware is pretty different. Um, it reminds me of like glassware I would use when I first started drinking at the crib. Although that, you know, although I had I had pub glasses and different, um, I guess you can say brewery glasses, souvenir glasses, I would still use just like an average Ikea, 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 Ikea glass to drink my beer. Um, so I, I think that's pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people that are coming into the world of craft, they're probably coming from a situation where they were drinking nothing but domestic, right? And it was either out of the bottle, Bud Light, Budweiser, Coors, Heineken, whatever the case may be, uh, or out of the can, Bud Light, Budweiser, Coors, Miller High Life, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? So um, if they were to pour a beer in a glass, maybe drinking at the crib, they probably just went into the cupboard and grabbed the glass that was most comfortable to them. And that's how I was when I first got into craft. I was always grabbing the glass that was most comfortable to me to drink out of. Now that I've graduated and I have some years under my belt, I tend to drink out of the appropriate glass when I feel like it. But most of the time I use improper glassware still. So I'm not that bougie. But like I said, I'm over here at McKellar. 
downtown Los Angeles. About to sip on this for a minute. May drink one, may drink two, who knows. And then I'm gonna head over to Highland Park. It's 2.2 miles away from me, so I'm, I'm probably gonna walk. Because I paid for parking, it was seven bucks. And I've been here now for about an hour and a half, almost two hours. And I don't think I got my seven dollars worth. So you know what, I'm walking until I feel I get my seven dollars worth. And then I'm gonna make that move back to the east. So I had a quick drink. Um, I think I just drank their Flow Season New England Style IPA a couple days ago. You can check that vlog or what are you drinking video out on the YouTube channel. And I just drank the Staff Magician. With that being said, um, I'm about to either, I don't know if I should go to Highland Park first or the vinyl store first. But I'm thinking maybe hit the beer spot first and hit the vinyl joint first, then get in my car so I could sober up. And I honestly think I'm just gonna make the walk to Highland Park, man, because it's like a $6 lift pickup to go there. And it's only 2.2 miles, so we're talking like a, you know what I'm saying? 15 minute walk, you know, and I have none but time. So, with that being said, it's Charlie, if you heard it here first, I'm over here at McKellar, downtown Los Angeles. We beer vlogging, and uh, I'm about to get ready to leave. You need another beer? No, it's no okay. Okay. It's my lovely waitress right there, or beer tender is what you would call it. So yeah, I'm about to cash out and uh, roll out. So yeah. Hey. Hey. Nice head. Oh, he said he likes my head. What about my head? Oh, it's cute. Don't worry.